here with Point Park University men's soccer head coach Jeroen Wallstra. Um, week two of preseason practice. Coach, how is preseason training going so far? It's uh, going very well. I think the team is getting fitter. Uh, we're getting a lot of topics covered, tactical plays, and uh, moving on. Coach, you have a lot of returners uh, coming back. You won the conference the last two years. Um, how does that help you going into this year? Is, is it a, a lot less uh, that you have to work on to kind of get people to um, acquainted with your system and so forth? Yeah, there's a lot of um, well, the, the system, just how we practice and stuff like that. It's uh, uh, a lot of routines that come back, so that makes life easier and so that makes it also easier to fit the new guys in. What are a couple things that you're working on right now, Coach? I mean, um, is, it, is it a lot of conditioning? Uh, you, you mentioned some tactical stuff. What, what sort of things are you working yeah, on? Yeah, last week we primarily worked on uh, tactical topics, so simple stuff like offside traps and, and, and playing on the offside, high pressing, low pressing, uh, playing from the back, uh, play, using the flank play today. That's what we worked on. Uh, and then some, some conditioning last week. We played some uh, more bigger games, bigger groups, uh, so that intensity is a little bit less this week. We're going to go to a little smaller, so we'll get a little bit more intensity. From what you've seen in practice so far, what have you liked? What are the things that you, you're doing well? The, the intensity level I like from the most of the players. Um, I like how some players were finishing well. I like the atmosphere a lot. The boys like each other, they get along. They seem to have fun. You have a scrimmage coming up, one this week, one next week. Uh, mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you trying to get out of those? How, how are you approaching those scrimmages? Well, we have, of course, a bunch of new guys that I want to see how they play, how they fit in. So they're going to get a chance. Um, and then we have a couple of guys that I was just want to see how they play together, where they are right now to returnings. If you take each of the areas of the field, uh, the forwards, the midfielders, the defenders, and the goalkeepers, uh, if you could go one by one and kind of assess where you are, uh, uh, your strengths or weaknesses uh, with each areas of those uh, parts of the game. I think we're pretty solid in the back right now with uh, new guys like Josh Williams, Paul Carr, uh, uh, Giovanni, Lebrun, a couple Canada kid. Um, on the right, we have uh, options too with uh, Zach Fisher. Sorry, I'm falling over. Uh, so, so um, I, I think we have a lot of options there in the, in the back. Uh, keepers, uh, both Zach and, and Derek can do the job. I think Alex needs a little bit of uh, uh, training. Alex Gadris, and, and then he'll get there too. Uh, midfield, we have a bunch of mi good, very good midfielders, including, of course, uh, John T, uh, Dominic Canelo is extremely fit this year. He's spent a lot of time apparently uh, training and working out this summer. Um, Max Flick is a lot fitter. He played also in the whole summer, um, so so he might find some space. Marius uh, Seeger, who had a knee. A bad knee injury last year with an ACL got 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 that fixed. Seems to be fit again. Uh, that's a good option. Uh, so so Lucas can play in the midfield. We have Lucas up front, of course, is a very good option. He's a good scorer. We have a new kid uh, that I have good hopes for. Maybe not so much this year, but at least la la next year. Alan Ramos. Uh, very good finisher, very, very fast, needs to get better in the combination. And um, uh, all guys, uh, Romita Ninko is coming back, he's hurt right now on his knee, uh, so that may need some time. But yeah, I mean, we have, we have more options right now than ever. Who are the main guys you're looking to to uh, finish up front at forward? You named a couple there, but uh, is, is that the That's extent? Roy Dolench, I mean, he, he's getting stronger. Uh, fitter this year than last year and he made goals last year he's gonna make goals this year um, yeah I think there's there's lots of people that can put the ball in the net okay coach one more question here um, you've, you've been more of an offensive minded team uh, do you think you'll be uh, that type of team again or a defensive well, that's or? a very good question um, because that's I think the difference from other years this year is that we have a little bit more defense. Last other years before, 
our, our tactics really were let's see if we can make more goals than the opposing team. And you were year. top ten in the NEI in goals scored and uh, right, worked fairly right, well for right, you. Right. I still want to make be the, be the top ten in goal scoring, but I want to have fewer goals against. And so we're going to have definitely more emphasis on uh, on the defense. Thank you very much for taking the time, Coach. We'll let you go on that one. No, it's a very busy preseason, so we thank you for your time. Uh, good luck, and we'll, we'll catch up with you throughout the preseason and as the season goes along. Thanks. It's a pleasure.